All right, welcome to You Gotta See This Movie, a podcast that two guys like to talk about movies as well as the deeper things that make these story more than just a movie. I am Michael, and Jim, what is the movie that you gotta see? The movie you gotta see is Monster House, 2006. Three teens discover that their neighbor's house is really a living, breathing, scary monster. If you like this sort of thing, we talk about movies and the movies that we love and the movies that we feel like you got to see. So if you're into that, please like and subscribe and let us know what you think of Monster House. So just earlier today, someone passed by our office and said, oh, Monster House. Is that any good? I haven't seen it. Really? Yeah. Huh. I said, well, yeah, you got to see it. It's a great movie. Let me guess. Is this like the youngest person here in the office? No. Oh, wow. No. I would have thought that was, it was them. Oh, yeah. No. But I can see how people would pass this by because it just looked mm-hmm. like a silly kids movie, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, I mean, it kind of is. It's a silly kids it's movie. It's a silly kids yeah, movie. It's a great story, though. But it's a great story. Yeah. I, to, to, the, to your point as it being a silly kids movie or not, um, I at one point tried to show this to my kids, yeah. like in Halloween, yeah. and they did not get past the opening scene where Nevercracker comes out of the shadows and yells at that little girl. Because he's because <clears throat> he's scary. Because like, it freaked him out. Yeah, oh, yeah. They, they, that's as scary. far as we got yeah. for years. Wow. Until well, finally you, they give it a, too, like a scary monster house. Like yeah. my houses aren't scary. That's dumb. Right. Right. But we never even got to the point of like the house being scary. Wow. It was just the old man, the old man. Uh, played by Steve Buscemi, mm-hmm. a great actor. Um, we That's as far as we got. And how he rip, has the strength of a thousand men who rips that tricycle apart, which is amazing. Yeah. But, um, but yeah. Funny. That was it, huh? That was it. My kids were like, nope. And it took, yeah. it took a lot of them warming up to the idea of me trying to tell them it's good. And I think I just put it on one time and I think they watched it from afar and they realized it wasn't that bad. Okay, so now do they like, hey, let's watch Monster oh, House. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So much, in fact, yeah. that, again, we like to watch these movies a day, the night before we have the podcast. Mm-hmm. I watched this two weeks ago because my kids were like, we're watching it tonight. And then when Wait, we- Wait, that's way too early. I know. I know. It was way too early. Yeah. And then my kids were like, no, we're watching it tonight. And so I, I watched it with them. So we made it. It's a family thing. You know, nice. we have our family movies. And this is one of them. Nice. This is my uh, Halloween night movie. Really? Yeah. Okay. Probably the main, the main one. Yeah. Because it's very Halloween. It's because it's about Halloween night. Mm. And the kids and the candy and the. Yeah, that's right. I mean, it's not about the kids it and the candy, but Halloween. it leads up to Halloween. Yeah. 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 I yeah it, it this is so so what's your history with it when did you see it I don't know <laughs> probably just popped up as something to see was that something you were looking forward to it or or did you just happen to watch it I think like, oh, this, this hap- is really good I think just happened to watch it I don't remember yeah. any like moment of yeah so I didn't have any expectations going into it just like oh right. monster shows what's this yeah yeah I know I didn't see it in the theater I know it was like. It was 2006, so I'm a year being married. Yeah. So I, I know, you know, me and my wife were like, hey, let's go to the movie theater to watch this movie. Yeah. We weren't doing that. No, because it just looks like a silly kid movie. Right, exactly. Yeah. So we had no kids at the time. Yeah. But um, yeah, I can't remember when I first saw it. But, yeah. Um, I, I do think it was probably one of those things where like enough people had to tell me that it was a good movie for me to want to say okay yeah because I, a, another deterrent that made me not want to see this movie and it could be for 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 you guys if you've never seen this movie is the animation looked very much like a polar express and i did not like polar express yeah it was it's so better than polar it's express. way better than it's, polar be, express. it's better yeah. but it is odd the character the characters are odd right um Chowder's hair is just kind of weird. It looks like. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Every time I see his hair, it's just like. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, like, yeah, it's not quite like. It's almost like they look CGI. like. CGI. Oh, it is all CGI, but it's yeah. that. 
I, I forgot. It, it does hold a, a record of the first of something, and I can't remember what what it is. Is it the motion know, capture it, animation thing? It right? could be. Um, but but no, I mean this does. Polar Express was before this. Yeah. Um, but I, yeah, I can't remember what I read. I read something that it holds some sort of honor being the first of something. Uh-huh. But um, yeah, uh, yeah, the the animation. There's something off of, but, but what it is, is that, yeah, they're, they're also actors acting this out. Yeah. It's not strictly an animator that is doing it. Yeah. It's different. So, mm-hmm. it, it is different. And I guess for some people, they'd be like, oh, this is just, this is weird. Yeah. The funny, the, the joke was for a long time before I knew kind of how that was, is I had heard, um, John Heater, the guy with Napoleon Dynamite. Yeah. And he plays Skull, I think. Yeah. Um, that uh, he he broke his ankle filming this movie, and I always thought like, how can you break <laughs> break your ankle on the first day of filming? Oh yeah, because first day he walked in, and he tripped over something, and he like broke his ankle. Uh, but uh, but yeah, but I didn't know that like those characters are actually acting stuff out. So I'm wondering how much easier it makes the animation process if they do just act everything out. I guess it is a lot easier because you're not having to yeah. draw each all the movements stuff. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I would love to talk to a CGI animator. Like, just to like, what's the process of that? Like, yeah, because there's so much about that yeah. I don't know. I mean, yeah, I watch behind the scenes, and they do they show things like, oh yeah, we I do this, but it's like, but how do you do that? You know? Yeah, I think if, getting past the the weirdness of the animation, the story's so good and the characters are so good. Uh, you just kind of like, I don't care. If right. I don't care if these were stick figures. It's still a, a good watch. Right. You know, just that they're, yeah. Yeah. Well, speaking of the story, I will say this, that, um, and I think what really got me is it really is a good, like you could, this could not be a kid's movie and make the stakes a little higher. And it could be a good like horror movie. Oh yeah, like the way everything plays out yeah. and how you know things were getting eaten and and destroyed and and just how spooky it is. Like, like huh? Like it, you had you had some deaths in there and oh yeah. And it, from what I understand too, I guess they would have gotten a PG thirteen rating for mm-hmm. this movie if they didn't show the last scene at the end or oh, everybody climbs, out, of climbs out of the hole. Like, yeah. Oh, they're alive the whole time. Yeah. Which I guess spoiler alert, but no, we got a spoiler. Um, we, got, we got to talk about the movie. <laughs> yeah. Right. But, um, but yeah, no, yeah, the story very much plays out like, yeah. like, like a horror movie. You yeah. Know? So really good. Really fun. Now let's talk about DJ and chowder. I mean, that's a classic buddy, you know, kid, buddy, yes. kid, buddy movie. You got more of the serious guy, and then mm-hmm. you got the goofy sidekick. Right. You got the guy who's like, like they say, like the true believer. He knows what's going on. Yeah. And you got the, yeah, the yeah, uh, the chucklehead. The chucklehead. Like, yeah. yeah, right. Yeah. Um. And then you mix in a a a girl into the scene where they're both they both kind of dig, and now they're kind of <laughs> right. fighting over her a little yeah. bit. Yeah. You know, I feel like like that's it's very subtle because uh-huh. I feel like the first couple times I've seen this movie, I don't think I. have picked up on that yeah but i definitely have later on but but to notice a little rivalry and little stuff that they the little yeah. digs they start throwing at each other yeah to like make them feel like oh yeah you know yeah, yeah. yeah. they bring they bring the girl in the room to show them their surveillance and, <laughs> right yeah what yeah. is it like oh you're i love mexican food or something what, yeah 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 and them being friends they know like you don't like mexican you don't food. like me yeah 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 <laughs> We didn't even take bathroom breaks. <laughs> TJ, you pee in bottles? Yeah. That is a good line. Yeah. 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 Because that is definitely like something two friends would do, like just to like make the other person look. Yeah. Like not an as appealing, like an idiot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah but Chowder's great though. He just had so many, you know, he's like, oh, I went to uh, Westdale school. Yeah, I went there too. It's a girl school. <laughs> Yeah, right. And that's why I didn't go. <laughs> yeah. Did you know that the, the actor that played Chowder? You know who that is? No. Did you ever see the show um The Goldbergs? Yeah. He's the friend, the funny friend. 
ends up dating the sister. He's really funny. He's probably oh, one of the funniest guys. I can't, I can't, I can't Schwar- No, is it Schwartz? I can't picture his. Yeah, but that's who played who played Chowder. Huh. And yeah, in in the Goldbergs, he's like the one liner guy. He's pretty funny. Yeah. So I was like, oh, it makes sense. Yeah. But yeah, that was a good. It's a good trio. And that was another thing going back to like, you know, the characters and who they are. Um, you get that rear rear window vibe, right? Because mm-hmm. he's been watching the house for some time. Yeah. And he knows that there's something like there's not like you don't see him discover the house. He's already like in the process of like, no, there's something up. With there's the something house. going on with the house. Yeah. I've been watching it. I've been taking notes. Well, he's got his eyes on Nevercracker because he's stealing the kid's toys. Right. Right. So yeah. he's like, this guy, this guy's crazy. I'm going to report this guy. He's taking pictures and everything. Oh, that's right. Yeah. That's, that's what, where it starts. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. And then when, and then when Nevercracker basically has his heart attack or whatever and he's gone <laughs> and then the, now the house is starting to act up. Yeah. Yeah. That was, uh, yeah, that was interesting. I like. So one of the things I picked up for the first time this time watching it last time with the kids, um, because then you're introduced to, to more characters, right? Uh, Z, the yeah. babysitter, which is yeah. hilarious because, oh, you think like there's your, almost your hero, your, 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 you know, the people that's going to look after the kids. Yeah. She's a horrible babysitter. Oh yeah. She's horrible. Yeah. 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 She rolls up in a, in a, pink sweater listening to olivia newton john with this whole right. other personality yep. to impress the parents and and as soon as she does the parents are gone she's yeah. like i'm done yeah yep yeah that was really good oh well, let's talk about the parents the dad with the uh oh yes and red willard and Catherine o'hara yeah they were great yeah yeah i just thought it's funny they're leaving and she's like tell me you love him no he doesn't he knows i love him just yeah tell him you love him <laughs> <laughs> um yeah and then she has her her boyfriend so this is something yeah i noticed like you got yeah so you got um bones bones he's right yeah he's great he's um, funny he was like he was mean but then at the same time he was hilarious he was hilarious yeah and he's like oh Just, like he, like he's got that legend like he knows of never cracker too like, oh yeah he's not like i've had i've had experience with him too yeah um but speaking of which did you ever have someone like that on your block oh yeah yeah who was I, yours oh man God, his name was Greg. Greg, I think it was his last oh, name. Greg. Yeah. Yeah, just a total like Lodi pothead. Oh, no, I'm talking about like a. Oh, oh you're like talking about someone like oh, a mystery guy. Like, oh, you're talking about, oh, the, like, the, like the haunted house yes. guy? Yes. Oh, yeah. the Nembercracker guy. Okay, well, obviously, we, we've had stoner friends, right? That were just yeah. hilarious and funny. Like, and who go- doesn't goofy. have a stoner friend? <laughs> That's hilarious and funny and goofy, and they're kind of fun to have around because they're funny. Yeah. But they're still, you know, big time loser. Yeah. Yeah. Um, cracker guy. I remember the house. We mm-hmm. definitely had the haunted house in the neighborhood, but there was never a, a, a person to go with it. We did. We had it. You had a never cracker. We though? had never cracker. And like, I look back at it, it was kind of an unfair never cracker. Yeah. He might've like got a little upset with us a couple times, but it was, um, cause now that I'm like, you know, I'm older and I've got kids doing things in my house and I'm like, man, yeah freaking kids so now i see that grumpiness come out in me yeah but his name was mr blue Mm. and uh we would definitely i would definitely create like these stories to pass on to my sister and her friends about like don't go to that yard he eats kids mean old mean old mr blue yep and then you just need one person you know like i talk about this story and i need like one other person be like oh yeah i remember that kid we never saw him again Went over to Mr. Blue's house and like got him. Yeah. But yeah, we called him Mr. Blue. Um, or that was his name, Mr. Blue, actually. And um but yeah, that was our, our never cracker. We need uh, to stay away from his house. We did have a lady that lived across <laughs> across the street. This old never cracker lady, now that I remember it. Mm. And uh she had she had an old Lincoln Continental, like a nineteen like sixty four oh, nice. Lincoln Continental just rotting in the driveway. Just been sitting there. Yeah. flat tires and and i remember she came across the street because i was working on you know working on the cars and she's like oh maybe you can help me get my car started oh. so me and my buddy went over there and she was just just ornery and oh, don't yeah. touch that don't move that 
And she was just like, just like yeah. cantankerous. And we're just like, <laughs> dude, this isn't worth it, man. Yeah, yeah. Forget it. Yeah. We'll come back and, and we just never did. Yeah. Our Mr. Blue, he did complain a couple of times. The stuff that we either kids running through his yard, playing hide and go seek, or yeah. we hit a ball in his, his house or whatever. Yeah. But he was always like well-dressed, well, like clean cut. His, he mowed his front yard with one of those like push mowers with the blades. Oh yeah. Like a psychopath. You yeah. Know, not an automatic, <laughs> yeah. you know, and he had like this clean Corvette that he parked in his garage every night. Uh -huh. I mean, you would never know someone's there. You never knew if he was home or not. Um, but now looking back at that, like now I'm starting to think like maybe he was like a crazy guy cause he was really clean cut, really like particular. I don't know. He probably, he probably just some. I had a neighbor. Guy. I had a neighbor though that was like that. Like yeah. he, he, he like washed his car practically like yeah. practically every night, and he had carpet in his garage. He carpet. He no, would like clean the car. He would clean the car, wash it. Yeah, I swear he was out there almost every day washing that thing, and then he'd roll it into the garage. Washing and cleaning. That's washing crazy. Washing and cleaning. <laughs> that was his thing. I think every neighborhood needs a, a never cracker. Never cracker guy. Yeah, what well, was he dressed nice pushing the the, the yeah the thing? it was almost really? like yeah well it was like yeah i mean i can i can picture him in my head i always picture him with a blue shirt now too but like yeah pushing that just, mower thing but yeah i you never knew what was in his house i never saw people come to his house yeah and you know let's talk about the cops yeah because they're hilarious they're hilarious i like their motto is like we want to help on their on their car says we want to help did it say that on yeah that's funny <laughs> we want to help <laughs> we may not do but our hearts are the right place yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah and they're the only two cops in the whole town apparently right yeah, that's that's pretty, right. it's a pretty sleepy town yeah there's only sleepy. judy judy back at the that's station right. judy's <laughs> back at the station yeah yeah no they were great that who was... played who played the the deputy that guy was funny. i think it was nick cannon i don't know who that is Nick Cannon, yeah. Do you know Nick who Nick? Cannon. Do you know who Nick Cannon is? Yeah, he's the host of America's Got Talent. He's funny. Yeah, and then uh, uh, the, the 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 sheriff, uh, Kevin, 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 Kevin James, Kevin James, Kevin James. Yep. Yeah, he's always funny. Yeah, yeah, always just laughing it off. And again, yeah. again, just like horror movies, you got the bumbling cops that yeah. are like, yeah. again, in a movie, you always want what you think should be protecting you. Yeah doesn't yeah. and they eliminate those cops right away yeah you know they get eaten yeah but which is good i like the fact that that they didn't drag the whole thing out where the where nobody can see the house do its thing other than the kids mm -hmm. it was good at some point early ish i guess early ish or at least midway through at least the cops get it like finally the adults are seeing this right yeah, yeah. because yeah you're right for the longest time it was just just the kids it's like the house wanted the kids to look crazy yeah you yeah. know, but yeah. eventually they got, yeah, everyone got eaten. Now, I wonder if the the whole idea of the house being a, a creature, if that's like a brand new idea that somebody came up with or if they got that, because it's actually pretty cool. Like the house is alive? Yeah, like the the windows are the eyes and the, mm. and the, the rug, tongue the tongue. The rug, right. And then like the, the heart is the, the furnace. Mm -hmm. It was all super cool. And you would think, how do you make a house be a character? But it worked really well. Yeah. Yeah. And then the house, and then you enter the house, and then there's like the esophagus and the uvula. The uvula. uvula. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, Which is a good line because no kids are going to get that. Oh, it must be a girl. <laughs> oh, it must be a girl. And the look she gives him is great. Right. right? right. Yeah. But then again, he wasn't wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Ends up being a girl. Yeah. But. Yeah, I uh, yeah. Was, so, what do you think about the story of 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 Never Cracker and like the, you know, he does a flashback and he he's, he's in Constance is is basically a circus freak, circus freak. Yeah. Um, and he I, wants, to, I, wants to take I, care of her and everything. I liked it. I mean, it's heartbreaking. It is. You yeah. know, it was sad. Yeah. And you know. I, I think if there was a, no, I wouldn't say it was a weak point. I, I, I did like it. Yeah. Yeah. I, th I think it's a good story. I think it's a good, 
I think when you think about it, it kind of seems kind of weird, but then it plays out really well. It does seem weird. I think maybe the first time I a couple watched a couple of watches I watched it, maybe that was like, ah, maybe I don't like this movie as much because of that. Because, yeah. But over time, I've come to really like that idea. Yeah. And they don't spend too much time on it either, which no. is okay because it makes it kind of, let's just say, short and sweet, you know? Right. Like, yeah, I just like, for some reason, I just like the idea like that it was just a monster house. Like, I wish they didn't have like some sort of, you know, that it was a spirit of the woman, but I guess you had to, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I don't mind it no more. Like, yeah. It, I, I, I like it because I do like how he, you know, one, he loved her yeah. and two, you know, he's trying to protect the kids. Yeah. He's trying to protect everybody. Yeah. He just, yeah. Yeah. Her. And, and one thing I didn't notice or I noticed too, maybe this time around is that, you know, they're starting to like in the whole construction area, they're starting to put in condominiums. Right. Mm -hmm. And so it's not far fetched that probably he thinks that eventually that expansion could come his way mm. and probably demolish the house. And then he loses, you know, his love again. So at the same time, he's probably going to try to protect that or I don't know, but I, I do if anything, if there was ever a true victim in this whole movie, it's actually Nebra Cracker, right? Yeah. Because he feels like he's... What know, he said, it's like 45 years, right? Yeah, like, like he's, he's, he's held hostage yeah. by his love for her and also his... But then, yeah. Trying to protect people. Yeah. So... Yeah, and, you know, his love for her, and then there's no way out because now she's the spirit right. haunting the house yeah. that he can't get rid of. Yeah, he has and no not, peace. And not, yeah, he has no peace. Yeah. Poor guy. Poor guy. Poor Nebercracker. Well, it was great to see him at the end. You know, he's, he's warmed up to the kids mm -hmm. even more. So, early, you know, because earlier when DJ says that he's, you know, I know about Constance, you know, and that's when he, you finally see that he's got a good heart. Right. Yeah. That, yeah. that he, and almost too, like, it's probably a relief for him because now he's like the burden of like, Oh, I don't have to hold on, yeah, to this anymore. I can finally these. I can talk to these kids about this, yeah, you yeah, know. Yeah, and um, almost like the Scrooge ending. Like now they're gonna have all this great relationship and they'll hang out and drink lemonade with Nevercracker. Yeah. Did they do uh, a Monster House too? They didn't, did they? No, I don't think. So. No. Okay, good, good. Yeah, because so what, what would it be? It would just be. Well, I don't know. It's like he builds a house again and, yeah. and then do something stupid where Constance comes back because they... Constance use, revenge. Yeah. 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 But it is in a condominium this time. So it's like condominium people. Oh, yeah. Is eating people. <laughs> yeah. But, but I thought it was great. I mean, they read the, the production design, the house, mm -hmm. the way it... you know, The house would, is amazing. How it would, tra the how it would transform. I mean, just look at the, you mm -hmm. know, it's got the eyes, it's got the mouth and... Even the nose. And then, you know, and then when it asks you, asks to uh, move and it basically, because the house commands the, the pro whole property, you know, the grass and the, you know, the trees mm -hmm. and everything. And then it grows legs and starts marching down the street after the kids. Yeah. Yeah. Cool battle with the, the crane. Yeah. Which that was cool scene too, because I grew up, where I grew up, there was, um, not they weren't building houses, but they were building like a like an area for more buildings, just for industrial. commercial industrial buildings. Yeah, and they would leave like those that kind of stuff there. And I remember going there and getting on the stuff and yeah, you know, pretending to drive it. But that's cool. Um, it's I have good. a question for you. Yeah. I could be wrong. And maybe, you know, those who are listening can, can chime in. Um, in the very beginning, little girl's riding her tricycle. Yeah. And she's like, la, 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 la. Is she singing the E.T. song? Because, okay, the, if she's not, she's definitely going like, la, la. It's something, it's something familiar. I don't think the la la's are just random because every uh -huh. time I hear that, it's like, oh, it sounds like it sounds so familiar. It sounds. And so the last time I watched it, I paid attention to it. And I'm like, it could be the ET song, mm -hmm. not the main ET song, but like the whimsical, the, like the la la. No, la, not that one. Not that one. It's uh -huh. like, uh, 
la 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 you know like I wish it's doing now I guess anyways next time you watch it okay I'll have to think think ET all right and if I'm wrong I could I'm probably wrong but it's just but but whatever she's saying I don't think it's random it sounds very familiar she's she's such a little kid I mean my guess is that the kid was just singing whatever song they knew yeah but maybe but maybe they can know it just sounds like I, every time I've heard it, it, it I've been like, that sounds like E.T. E. What? Why is that familiar? And then I'm starting to think like, maybe it's E.T. That kind of makes sense yeah. that, that they would do that. I was watching. Uh, because. Because what? You know, this movie came out or this movie takes place in 1983. And E.T. Yeah. came out in 1983. Yeah, but that doesn't make sense. They wouldn't pay homage to a movie that's out at the same time. No, but a little girl who saw the movie would. So, may, oh, so maybe it was just her own thing. Maybe just I, saying. Okay, so if it's okay, so if it's stuck in her head, when, yes, when she's doing her performance, if in the Monster House world, yeah, ET would have came out in June. Yeah, this is October. And she would have plenty of time to get that song stuck in her head. Would she have seen the movie, though? How old was she? Sure. Why not? I guess you don't know so. her parents. Her parents could be reckless and let her see whatever she wants. Yes. You know? Maybe. Maybe she has an older sister. Maybe. It's like, we're going to take you to go see E.T. Yeah. You don't know the, the, the lore of the little girl at the mm-hmm. tricycle. Mm-hmm. We just know she has one less tricycle. Yeah. And she can ride really fast on it. Impressive. Yeah, she moves on that thing. Yeah. Yeah. My awesome kite. Like Bones cracks me up. Yeah, Bones is great. <laughs> so he kicks him out and now he's he goes out of the house and he's all he's all pissed off and looking at that house and now he's getting mad and he throws his beer at it. Yeah. Yeah. And the house is just see that that's like where it's like what is the house doing? Is the house was baiting him, obviously. Yeah, it was after he threw the beer bottle on. So then it's like, oh, right. really? Oh, that's right. Yeah, you're yeah. right. So it was probably like, I'm going to get my revenge. Yeah. And if Nevercracker was there. He would have chased him off. He would have chased him off yeah. and probably picked up the beer bottle before he had a chance. That yeah. makes sense. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, no Nevercracker. So the, the house definitely baited him. Yeah. To come in and get gobbled up. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Do you like at the end that everyone lives or do you wish that... Uh, no, I like that they live. I think it's oh, great. Okay. They made, it was uh, it's funny. Yeah. And it adds to the ending, I think. They all just come climbing out. And what does the cops the cops say? He says something like, oh, let's go get like, let's go get some candy. That's what it is. Yeah. Or let's go, let's go inspect some, go inspect, inspect some, some candy. candy. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like, yeah, who knows where we've been the last couple of days. Yeah. Some sort of limbo. But uh, just I could a, go for under a pile of toys. I could go for a whatchamacallit right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a horrific story, but it's playful, and then that's what yes. I like. That's what I like. Yeah. yeah. That's a good. That's a good breakdown. All right. Well, definitely, Monster House is a movie that you got to see, especially this time of year. Um. Especially with kids, maybe not as young as the kids I showed them, but eh, kids will warm up to it. Um, All right. Well, with that, Jim, let's get into Monster House Trivia Battle. The Trivia Battle. Halloween edition. Trivia Battle. All right. Who's got the Duke? This guy. All right. So who's going first? I'm going to let you choose. I'll give the... The, the choice to you. Hmm. I think I always seem, I, I tend to be the one that chooses first. So okay. I'm going to say, I'm going to let you go first this time. Oh, shoot. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. First question. First question. What is DJ's dad holding when DJ runs out to tell him about Nebercracker taking another tricycle? This is at the beginning of the movie. Oh, easy. I don't know. Are you serious? Yeah. It seems too easy that I think what I'm thinking might be wrong. He is holding a globe. 
That is incorrect. He, Steel. He's holding a tooth. Yes. Oh, they're dentists. Yes. Yeah. It's, oh, I thought they were. It's such a weird I thing. I thought he to was a holding. travels agent guy. Oh. I was thinking of a different movie. They You're got, right. There's a toothbrush in the back of the You're car. right. You're yeah. right. And he says, oh, I need to go back in and get the incisor. Yep. Yep. All right. I got one. Mm hmm. Okay. Hey, come on. Next it's not over yet. Well, I'm just, just, just inching. I'm that, just though. inching. Just a little bit. Okay. How long was the trick or treat streak that Chowder and DJ had at the beginning of the movie? How long was the streak? Yes. Chowder mentions their streak of trick or treat runs. Yeah. I have no idea. But you got to guess. Uh, guess or pass. Uh, it would be something year streak. Yes. Because it's every year. Let's see. Then you got to think of a number. Knowing your luck, you're going you're gonna to guess it. Right. You got to think of a number that rolls off the tongue for, for the comedic value. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, everything you're saying, I'm also thinking the same yeah. thing. So. Seven. That is incorrect. Six. That is correct. Oh, yeah, we're, is just doing, we're just doing the kid math streak. in our heads. They probably yeah. started at this age, and now they're this age. Yep, that's exactly what I was doing. I was thinking sixth grade. Seven years. Yeah. Seven rolls off better than six. Although seven might be too many, though. Dang it. Next question. What is the name of the basketball move Chowder tries to demonstrate? The basketball move? It's my question. I know, but... Um, I'm playing basketball. Three seconds on the clock. Skyhook? <laughs> no, that's incorrect. I don't know any basketball moves. Jump shot? That's incorrect. It, he, he has his own name for this move. Oh, mm. it's a chowder, chowder name. Well, we both got it wrong, so let's move on to the next question. It's time for an in-your-face disgrace. Oh, oh, oh shoot. that's good. That that's good. good. Okay, yeah. no one got that one. I thought that was an easy one. The chowder chuck. The, I don't know. Okay, next question. How much money did chowder spend on his new basketball? Well, my question? Oh. $28. That is uh, correct. Bonus. Because he asked his mom 26 times for $1 bill and he did some other chore, which would, be, would equate to the balance, which was How many stupid. yards did he rake for a bonus? Uh, I don't know how many yards he raked. Who buys a basketball for $28? Why? Is that a lot or, or not enough? I mean, that's... That's like to by today's standard. That's like a a mid size. That's like a mid tier basketball, sure. But like, we're talking nineteen eighty three. Well, what do you think he should have spent for basketball in nineteen eighty three? Yeah, I don't know, five dollars. Really? Yeah, not that much. Well, what about a good one? Like, oh, it's a good one. All leather. Yeah, a good all leather one. Maybe nine ninety nine. No, it's got to be. It's got to be. Probably. There's no way. Come on. I'll say make 12 bucks. Reaganomics, man. Reaganomics. Yeah. Well, if either of you can guess how many yards, yards he, he raked, you'll get a half point. Four. I don't know. Nope. He raked. You can't get it just by a guess now. Come on. For 26. No. 28. No. no. 26 was a number, though, is how many times he asked his mom. Yeah, he raked four yards and asked his mom 26 times for a dollar. Uh, he raked 10 yards. 10 yards. Wow. All right. Next question. What is the name of the band Elizabeth listens to when she arrives at DJ's home? Oh, that's a good question. I don't know. It's also on her shirt. I don't know. Death something. No. <laughs> Zombies. No. Uh -huh. That was a real band. 
Um, it's I've, I've oh, it's been, a real band. No, no, Zombies oh. is a real band. Death Zombies. It oh. is Skull X Bones. Skull X Bones. I I actually knew that. And what's ding, funny? Dang it! You're right because it had to do with the two guys that she was dating. He's yeah. in a he's in a band. That's right. Yeah. Ah yeah. oh, man, I could have stole that. Skull and Bones, uh, skinny. And skull and Bones. Yeah. Okay. All right. Next question. What is the nickname of the spot Chowder and DJ sneak out to me, sneak out to meet at? The spot, the construction site. No, it's what, the nickname. What is the nickname of the spot? Oh, the nickname of the spot. I don't know. Go the steel? I don't know. What? <laughs> the nickname of the spot they sneak at. It's the construction site, right? No, it's they call it the danger zone. The danger zone. Uh, Meet me at the man. danger zone. Oh, okay. That's like, good. Do we both see this movie? <laughs> I was just watching it. I was just, I was just enjoying the movie. I saw it two yeah. weeks ago. Oh, all right, all right. The danger zone. All right. Next question: Why did Nembercracker have dynamite in his house? Oh, well, that's easy because he's gonna blow the house up. No, that's not what's implied. No. Well, he was gonna, he was gonna, yeah, he was gonna blow the house up. Yeah. Well, okay, you can't just get dynamite though. As Steel. a person. Well, you're gonna, no, you're you gonna... just asked me why did he have it in the house. And I'm telling you that, that reason why. That's not why. I know why. Okay, well, what is it then? He's a demolitions guy. He used to be a demolitions guy. He was in the, on the, in the demolition mi- squad. In the military. And that's why they're in ammo crates. They're in army ammo crates. That's, that's why. why he has dynamite. You could have put multiple ways to destroy the house. He could have burned it down. I should at least get a half point. He could have knocked it over. But that, but he, but that was his intention. That's how he was going to get rid of the house. He was going to get rid. I do. With the I think it's worth a. It's worth a half point. Yeah. yeah. All right. I'll give you this half point. But I get the whole matters, point. Right. But I get the whole point, right? Cause, yes. Because okay. that was. Well, then don't give me the half point. No. Give him the half. You need a little pity half point. So if I get a half point, you get no point, or I I'd get, rather I get not a point. get a half point, and you get a half point than a full point. No, but I answered the, I answered the then the questionnaire's will, answer correctly. I said right. because he's a then demolition. You get a half point. No, I'm not. It's a full point because no, I because you stole. It's oh, a sto- steal right? Wait, steal? Yes. Yeah, wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so I get a half point, and you get a no point. I get no point. Okay, all right. Where's my hat? Okay. Wait, I, I want to win this one, though. <laughs> he I wins, was, he you wins know every what? time. It's, this, it's, it's closer than I thought. <sighs> I mean, I don't know how many questions we have left, but like... There were a lot of questions. If only that. I had paid attention just a little bit more, having, I probably could have taken yeah, this from you. Having right. watched this literally yesterday, <laughs> you should be getting more of you, these. You should. You should. All right. All right. Next question. Whose question is mine? It's yours. Okay. Yes. When examining the basement of the monster house, what does Chowder say he has in his basement? Ping pong table. That is correct. Hanukkah decorations. Hanukkah decorations. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next question. In the basement of the monster house, what toy does the house use to grab chowder? What toy? I don't know. Was it? I'll give you a hint. He says killer blank. Slinky? Yes. It was slinky, yeah. The slinkies. Killer slinkies. And they grab them. Okay. Next Question What does Nebercracker throw at the house to keep her from pursuing DJ and his friends? What does he throw at the house? Yeah, the house is like, was like the house is now up. Yeah. And it's coming after him. Nebercracker Nebercracker? Nebercracker grabs something and he throws it at the back of the house to get her to turn around. This is the brick. That is correct. Yeah. Oh. Those are brick. Brick. I did know that. 
Now, why would you know that? I don't know. I just knew that it was a brick. I remember, I remember him like, yeah. Grabbing a brick. Yeah. All right. Last question. What did DJ's mom think Chowder and DJ's costumes were at the end of the movie? Were they burglars? That is incorrect. Oh. Dirty pirates. It dirty is dirty pirates. pirates. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, you won. I won. Yay. I'll take it. The Duke is now in your hands. Until Christmas. Wow. All right. Well, well done. Well done. Yeah, I'll... Uh, it was 2 to 4.5. 2 to 4.5? Yes. Is that a smoke? Did I smoke him? Well, Poltergeist was five to two. Oh, that's a smoke too. Um, okay, I mean, I'd give it to you. That was a smoking. Yeah, okay. I'll take it. All right. Yeah. Uh, Aliens was six to two. Wow, oh, that's a that's a that's yeah. a smoke. Flaming smoking. Yeah, that's a flaming. All right. Well. Uh, all right. Well, what are your final thoughts and ranking of Monster House? Ranking. Um. If you haven't seen this movie, you need to see it. If you like, I would say you just like a good story, mm-hmm. kind of like a, like a Twilight Zone, like just a really good story, interesting, different. You know, it's just not your normal spooky ghost story. There's a lot more going on, and it's a whole lot of fun. And it may end up being your Halloween favorite, mm-hmm. being that it is a Halloween night movie. Yeah. Yeah. So it's great. Uh, ranking at an 8.7. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, Which think it might might be higher, but there's like, like the music. I don't think there's anything. There's like music that you're not gonna hum. There's no right. music you're gonna sing while riding a tricycle. That's right. not gonna happen because there really wasn't a song like that in that the movie. That makes sense. Yeah, but um, production design is okay, but the play characters are a little weird. Mm-hmm. But it's still a great movie. Yeah. Like I said, if this was done in stick figures, and it would still be a great movie to watch. It's a the great story. Is really the story's good. Story's good. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, I think if you were to ask me this time last year, I'd probably put this at like at a 7.6. But I don't know. Like After watching it again this year and maybe warming up to the whole Constance story, um, I'm going to bump this up to like an 8.3. Nice. Yeah. Huh. So uh, warming really, up to really you. enjoyed it. Um, really enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, and regardless, even if it was in the sevens, it's still a movie that you got to see. You got to see. Um but yeah, I just really appreciated for the story, mm-hmm. the actual story of, of what was happening, what was going on, and and um, and just the characters. Yeah, the, characters the screenplays and the one-liners are awesome. Yeah, good stuff. All right, well, thank you guys for uh, hanging out and listening to us talk about Monster House. Again, please let us know what you think of Monster House and let us know if you hear the E.T. song coming from that little girl's mouth. Um, because I think that's what it is. That does it for our Halloween edition. Woo! So happy Halloween. Um, be safe. Don't take no apples with razor blades in them. You for, the love of, for the love of God, don't take no apples with razor blades in them. You think that's ever really happened? Or that's just I, like hear some... it's, I hear they did some thing. But still, it's a good lesson to learn. That's so. right. All right. Well, thank you. And we'll see you in the next one around Christmas time.